What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have an update for the Yalu Dark. Now for those of you who do not know what Yalu Dark is, it's actually a, my own version of Yalu Jailbreak for iOS 10.0 to 10.2 for uh, pre-iPhone 7 devices. So um, it looks like this. Some of you know it already. So as I said, it's a reskin, a redesigned version of the Yalu um, 102 by QWERTY WURIAP or look at this code and Marco Grassi. And uh, I have added a couple of features to, to it and um, you probably know it already as I said, but for those of you who do not know it, you can read this and understand very well what it, what it is all about. It's definitely containing a new version and I'm going to restart the application to show you something when you are when you're restarting where well if you're loading it for the first time you're going to see something like restart the application down below in here but now it says one day since installation you probably know it has that feature telling you how many time how many days have passed since you have installed the um, the yalu and it gives you a warning or a notification in day six when you need to resign it for example, tomorrow. Anyways, in today's version, uh, it contains some new page called Yalu Settings. I'm going to open it by looking in here. And as you can see, it has um, one, Enable Mobile Substrate. Now, this is going to contain more settings in the future, and it's going to be, uh, for example, it's going to contain SSH um, toggle for SSH on or off for drop here. It's also going to contain an NVRAM um, nonce enabler or known setter and a lot of other things but for the moment it contains one setting and that is enable mobile substrate so this means that you can toggle this up for example if it's toggled to on uh, it's going to remember what you toggled last time so keep that in mind but if you toggle it on it's going to jailbreak your device normally with the substrate enabled and you're going to have all the tweaks working and everything works fine but if you for example have a problem and you jailbreak but then after you're jailbroken a tweak is keeping keeping on uh, rebooting your device in uh, safe mode for example and you don't know what's happening or crashes your devices or something and you need to inspect that, you can go ahead in here on Yalu settings, disable the substrate, click back to Yalu and jailbreak now. Of course you need to reboot the, the device in non-jailbroken mode and do all, all of this. And then I'm going to jailbreak now and I'm going to show you how it applies. So I'm going to press jailbreak. And as you can see, it, it, uh, it has popped up a uh, warning and says jailbroken. The jailbreak has been activated but without mobile substrate so tweaks won't work. No resping will be made. And you click understood and you are now jailbroken. As you can see the device hasn't been rebooted or resprung. And I can still open Cydia now. You can see from here. Cydia works normally. Now the uh, the respring is caused by the fact that the substrate is uh, loaded. In order to load substrate normally it has to respring the device. But that's not part of the jailbreak itself. It's part, as I said, of the uh, substrate. So you can see Cydia works perfectly without a respring. But that is again because I do not have the uh, substrate enabled. So you can see I do not have my theme applied, which is normally applied using an emony. And if I try to open a tweak or an application, for example, an emony, you can see that an emony doesn't work because the rocket, rocket bot strap is not uh, enabled. So now this is um, a mode where our gel broken, but the substrate is not running. So we can start, you know, uninstalling, for example, a tweak that is no longer working or that is causing problems from Cydia and so on. You can simply do that by going ahead in here. For example, I want to remove activator and I'm going to remove it. Let's say that activator caused problems on uh, substrate mode. Now I can uh, properly remove activator without having to run it or without having to activate it. Now this is a dumb example, but it works with any other tweak. So this is a pretty useful toggle to have in there. Normally it's a uh, combination of keys, uh, I think something related to the volume and so on, but I added that toggle. So you can see I can uh, re uh, restore the uh, springboard and be wherever I want. But I'm going to uh, reboot the device now and show you how, how you can jailbreak normally with the substrate and all the tweaks working after that because you cannot uh, re-jailbreak from here. You can see uh, it's still uh, disabled. I'm going to put this toggle back on. As you can see, it saves your state where you, um, you put it. And I'm going to reboot the device into non-jailbroken mode in order to jailbreak it normally. And you're going to see that you have, uh, you have the normal jailbreak as well. Be right back. All right, so I have rebooted my device and as you can see, everything uh, returned to normal. But then if I go ahead in uh, yellow dark in here, now I can uh, jailbreak normally with the substrate working. And that would of course require a respring. 
So I go ahead and hear back and I make sure that the uh, mobile substrate is toggled on and then I press jailbreak now. Be right back because it's going to respawn. So as you can see in here, uh, it's definitely working normally. It has been jailbroken normally. And as you can see, the theme has automatically been applied because the substrate is working and therefore uh, Anemone is currently working perfectly. As you can see, no longer getting error errors. And of course I get uh, my themes working. If I try to open another tweak, for example, the mobile terminal, it does work indeed. So everything is working perfectly now. I'm going to try to also open Cydia just to make sure it does work work and yes definitely working normally so you have a fully working jailbreak now again if you want to go back into the non uh, non um, substrate mode you disable this toggle um, reboot the device and jailbreak again with that toggle uh, being switched off and you're good to go so this is actually it you can download this IPA in the description down below from my github project page also the source code is available in the description on my github uh, page if you want to check out the source code to make sure it's legit or something or if you want to you know adapt it or make new features to it and so on just just take it from there till the next time I'm Geosnow peace